Hey everyone, Richard here, and in the Digital Foundry office, we've been mulling over this one for a couple of days now. Just what is going on with the PlayStation 4 Pro patch for Assassin's Creed Syndicate? What approach did Ubisoft take in supporting higher resolution screens? It's actually an interesting question because the base PS4 title runs at 900p. Now, we've seen plenty of different approaches in porting over dynamic res titles and 1080p games to the Pro, but what about 900p? And on top of that, assuming there is a higher resolution mode in play, just how does it compare to a pure native 4K presentation? So yeah, we're going to be dual wielding Syndicate in this vid, playing it simultaneously on PS4 Pro and with a Titan X Pascal powered PC. Now I did that mostly because I was kind of curious to see how this game scales up with everything maxed out. Assassin's Creed Unity looks pretty incredible at 4K and I wanted to see if the same thing applied to this one. Right, now let's get down to business. Whatever way Ubisoft is choosing to upscale this game, I think it's fair to say that the results can look rather ugly. There's no shortage of harsh geometric edges for us to use for pixel counting, but the upscaling algorithm is really rough to the point where you have to kind of wonder what's going on. We're going to be taking a best guess on this one because there are scenes that seem to defy analysis here, but gut feeling is that we are pretty close to the mark. So first of all, check out this scene from the prologue. We're going to freeze frame here and and zoom up to the top of the image. You'll note some curious pixel break up here, very reminiscent of checkerboarding, which may well explain, at least partly, why it's hard to get a pixel count lock on this title. Now with checkerboarding, if you pixel count a static image, generally you get an idea of the developer's target resolution. But here we're getting something along the lines of 1440 by 1620. Again, this one is kind of a best guess, but checkerboarding is usually about starting out with a base resolution, then doubling the horizontal. Maybe, and I stress maybe, Ubisoft is actually going for a 2880 by 1620 image here, but with some kind of issue in extrapolating out the pixels in the horizontal direction. So yeah, it is just a theory because, well, the image is really ugly. We tested a bunch of stills and those were pretty much the most consistent results that we got, but there is margin for error in there. So how does it look compared to the standard PlayStation 4 version? Well, we're at 900p there and again we've dual wielded the game to show how they look during gameplay running as close to identically as we can. Same controller, running two consoles. PS4 version has been upscaled from base resolution to 4K to give us some measure of how it would look on an Ultra HD screen, and this is a 4K video after all. In static scenes, the Pro implementation kind of looks okay, but in motion the effect just looks kind of a bit well, wrong. Performance though, it is in the same ballpark. 30 FPS is the target frame rate for Syndicate on console, and for the most part it will stick to it. The Pro seems to be no better or no worse than base hardware here really, but ideally we really would have preferred to see the option for a pure 1080p mode, locked to 30 FPS with enhanced visuals, kinda like Rise of the Tomb Raider. All of which brings us to the question of what an actual 4K presentation for this game looks like, but just as important from my perspective was the question question of how the Assassin's Creed Syndicate engine scales on PC. Well this is indeed the same game playing out at 4K PS4 Pro versus PC. The resolution differential is stupendous, and it's really interesting to note that visual changes, which weren't really a big deal at 1080p, take on a whole new dimension at 4K. Ground detail, reflection quality, texture filtering and texture resolution are on a different level. Indeed, Syndicate in 4K at max settings requires 6 to 7 gigabytes of VRAM on your GPU. Lighting quality and especially shadows are on a completely different level too. Now we are using the Titan X Pascal here, but I should say that the game at these settings is hugely demanding, to the point where frame rates wobble between 40 FPS and higher. So yeah, I locked down frame rate to 30 FPS here to give a more consistent look. Right then, there we go, Assassin's Creed Syndicate on PlayStation 4 Pro. Do like and subscribe to support the work we do here at Digital Foundry, and if you want to see this comparison at the quality that it was mastered at, please do consider supporting our Patreon. Links to the high bandwidth 4K download are available in the video description below. But that's all for now, thanks for watching.